Hi, this is GKR Cal. This is the third video, and we will talk about the files that we exported uh, in the last video. The first export was the full calendar, and I've just, uh, these were the files that uh, I sent as emails to myself. I just pulled them out, put them on the desktop. The first one is GKR Cal, it's the full calendar. And it contains a row in this spreadsheet for every session that was in the calendar. The, the work day, the time, the client, uh, whether or not it was canceled or missed, the rate, the code, the units, any notes that I may have recorded. A one indicates that this was a new client, friend. It was not a client in my uh, client list. Um, whether or not they paid with a check or paid with a cash. Again, one indicates they did pay with cash. Uh, some dates, some extract fields, the amount they paid, check number, who the check gets applied to, either a person or a split payment, and more split payment information. Now, the only thing you might ever want to do with this spreadsheet is... Uh, it is deleted, frankly. After you've been running a couple of years, you may want to delete um, uh, you know, uh, some of the earlier years from it. Uh, you can select on these rows uh, and just uh, delete what you want or make other math, mass customizations. And then save the file back as the name. Save it back as gkrcal.cvs and then what you can do and that is come to your Apple iCloud and by the way your phone needs to be uh, logged into your Apple account and have iCloud turned on but hopefully you're familiar with Apple's iCloud screen you go to the iCloud drive and in there will be a folder for the GKR docs. Whatever's in there you can delete. And take your new copy of your calendar and just drag it in. Give it a few minutes for the iCloud to sync with your phone or your other devices. And then go back into your GKR Cal iPhone app and go to the delete reload page and you should be able to reload this calendar from iCloud and it'll it'll have only the new data that you uploaded and your other calendar will be obliviated. So you may want to make sure that you use this uh, cautiously and take the appropriate backups before you do anything but this does give you a way to specifically edit your calendar and reload it. Normally, you don't need to worry about this function because your, uh, your iPhone app data is backed up to the cloud on the same schedule that you do any other backups uh, with your phone. So if you should lose your phone or get a new phone and you reload it from the cloud, your data should all be there without having to go through this process, which again is primarily for massive data manipulation. Okay, the second file that we exported was uh, the clients, clients' names, code, and their standard rate. You could do some editing to this and again put the modified file back into the, uh, the iCloud for reloading. I'm not sure you would need to do that. Perhaps if you're doing mass data loading and you wanted to load up lots and lots of clients, build it in a spreadsheet in exactly this format, making sure these top two rows are exactly as shown here and then put it into the cloud and go into your phone and do a reload on your client data and you can you know reload all of your data uh, instantly so that may be a good reason for using this uh, invoices this data is only for the particular month 2015-11 and it extracts only those sessions that did not have a no load indicator 
And this format is exactly in the format that's needed by Transaction Pro Importer to load your data into QuickBooks Online. If you wanted to reformat the data for a, a different accounting system, you could do that with, with this file or perhaps go back to the original full calendar extract and do any other type of extract and reformatting that you'd want to do. But this one, this format here is exactly what's needed for TPI and QBO. These are the, uh, the, the invoices, sessions or invoice records. And the last one are the receivable records, which again have the client name, transaction date, check number or reference number, amount, and other fields needed by QuickBooks Online. So the receivables and the invoice data is ready to go uh, without any manipulation if you're using TPI and QBO. Uh, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, uh, by all means, um, feel free and drop me a line and let me know. And other than that, I hope that uh, GKRCAL uh, works for you and helps you in your business.